Is every song you wrote on the album, or were there any left that didn't make it on the album? <laughs> <laughs> you would like to know, huh? <laughs> Actually, yes. Knallhart nachgefragt, meine Damen und Herren. Unser Reporter Jan C. Müller an vollerster Front. Denn für EMP Rock Invasion steht nur eins im Fokus. Fakten, Fakten, Fakten. Frisch von der Bühne, frisch geduscht, Soilwork, meine Damen und Herren, Björn Speed Street und Dirk. We obviously have to talk about the Living Infinite. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of the title? The Living Infinite is a description of the ocean. I was born by the ocean, I was raised there and I still pretty much live by the ocean. So it, it, was, it, it was kind of a natural thing for me. It sounds a little Jules Verne-ish, I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, Jules Verne uh, was was the person, uh, the man who de who described the ocean as the living infinite. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, good Whoa, job. Whoa, me. Yeah, good job. <laughs> this man knows his literature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Was it your plan from the from the beginning to to release a double album? Yes, it was. It was not a scenario where you had uh, a you know recording session. It's like, oh, wait a minute, guys. You know, there's. 26 songs here is like should we just record the rest of them and release them as bonus tracks or whatever no it was really a matter of you know let's create a double album in, in the true sense of the word after a long on off relationship peter vich has finally left the band so has he left for good this time or do you think he's coming back or No, I, I think he has left for good, and I think you know now we definitely know, and, and the same with him. You know, he's, he's. I think he's definitely better off now. He's a very good musician. You know, I only have good things to say about him. You know, uh, we, we, me and him started the band together back in '95, '96. We do miss him as a person, but at the same time, his his mind was not there, you know, anymore. And I think he's better off being a family man. So, uh, the new guitar player, David, mm. how big was his impact on, on the writing of the songs? Pretty humongous, yeah? yeah? <laughs> Pretty humongous, yeah. <laughs> We, we've toured with David several times in the past. When he joined the band full time and, and presented his music, I think it, it was really, at least to me, it was quite astonishing how well he f understood what we're all about, you know, and, and uh, really managed to capture the spirit of our music from kind of I would say all eras too. Mm. It's not just like, you know, what we're doing now, but he also got a lot of the old school stuff captured in there as well. So, so you know, that was part of what got me really excited about, you know, the, the double album. There's never been, you know, a dictatorship or anything like that. But I do think that, at least for me with The Living Infinite, it's it's been more of a collaborative effort on a lot of the songs. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot more input from people who maybe didn't have a lot of input in the past, maybe just a little, and now they were really able to change things and, and express themselves more and feel more like they could be a part of it. Is every song you wrote on the album, or were there any left that didn't make it on the album? <laughs> <laughs> you would like to know, huh? <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, yes. That's a yes. There were some left. Yeah, there's, uh, I think, five or six, is it? But they will never be released. We'll put them on a uh, like a rocket that will go just in outer space forever, and you know that's it. <laughs> you have um, a very very special guest on the album, mm -hmm. in uh, on the windswept mercy. So um, tell us about that. Well, it's Mr. Justin Sullivan, uh, one of my all-time favorite singers and lyricists. You model army. They seem to be, you know, I, I've noticed how they seems to be pretty big in Germany, uh, in, in, in a small town that I was growing up in. Uh, all the metal people, or the people that were into death metal, somehow got really hooked on New Metal Army as well. So that's how I got introduced to them and, uh, in the beginning of the 90s. And uh, ever since then, they've they, uh, been a really important band in my life. And I asked him, like, would you be up for, you know, maybe doing like guest vocals? Like, yeah, sure, you know, send me the song. And I did, and it's like, absolutely, I love the song. There's something strangely beautiful about it. That's how he expressed it, so I thought that was really cool. And he sent his vocals back, and I just hearing him singing my lyrics, you know, without anything else, just the, just the vocals was just one of the biggest moments in my life. You know? Goosebumps? Yes. Tears? Yes. 
Aww. Goose tears. <laughs> goose tears. <laughs> single goose here. <laughs> so, any plans of more collaborations like that? I've been trying to call Prince, but yeah, he hasn't answered. Yeah, yeah. <lacht> Falls euch dieses Interview Spaß gemacht hat, dann klickt doch einfach auf den Abo Button, denn jeden Dienstag und Freitag kommen neue. Wir wüssten gerne von euch, was haltet ihr eigentlich von Doppelalben? Falls ihr von Soulwork, CDs, LPs oder die exklusive Limited Edition von The Living Infinite inklusive Buch haben wollt, das alles gibt's natürlich bei EMP. Klickt einfach auf den Link unten in der Beschreibung. Bis zum nächsten Mal, sagen Jan und Markus.